<laughs> and just like that, they're cooked. Just like that. It's over. <laughs> turn three, like average, average psychic frog turn three, by the way. What's up, everybody, and welcome to a new video. Today, I got inspired by the modern gamers that have kind of figured out that Psychic Frog is a good card. I'm like, okay, hold on. We can do something with this in Historic. There's surely a way to break this card if it's getting a little bit of traction in Modern. And oh my god, I don't want to say I broke it, but... You know, 12 and 1 is a pretty good record. So the Psychic Frog is a 2-mana 1-2 frog. Whenever a Psychic Frog deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, you draw a card. You can discard a card to put a 1-1 counter on the Psychic Frog and you exile 3 cards from your graveyard to give the Psychic Frog flying until the end of turn. So this little guy has evasion. It has a way to grow in power, discard cards for free, and also draw you cards. It does basically everything you need in a card. It's beyond push. And I actually, like, I don't really call cards broken often, but this thing really Really, really is. So how do we get the most out of the Psychic Frog? And I've gone for like this almost like reanimator type shell. So we're playing like Blood Gas in here. This is a two mana two one. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may return Blood Gas from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this makes a fantastic discard target to the Psychic Frog. If you can just put a land in play, you get it back. Prize the Malgum, three mana three three. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it entered from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, you return a prize Amalgam from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. So what you can do but you can discard a price amalgam to the psychic frog as well and if you get a chain where you have a blood gas in the grave and an amalgam just putting one land in play will get both the blood gas and the amalgam back to the battlefield we also have the blood soaked champion in here one mana two one you can return a champion from the graveyard to the battlefield if you attack this turn and the rate cost is two so it costs two to get the card back Another fantastic Psychic Frog target. We're playing Stitcher Supplier in here to fill up the graveyard, so when it enters or dies, you mill three cards. And this is relevant to put all those cards that have recursion into the graveyard. But it's also a fantastic fuel for Catonia Nightmare. This is a new enchantment from MH3, two mana, and when it enters the battlefield, you get three energy. You pay X, energy, and sec a creature, and then you can return the Nightmare to its owner's hand and return a target creature card with mana value X from the graveyard to the battlefield activate only as a sorcery and this is a good way to get the psychic frog back for instance or get some cool chains for the stitcher supplier but i haven't even mentioned one of the most powerful cards in this whole deck and a way to basically never run out of cards and even get card advantage so overwhelming i was considering putting tasa's oracle in this deck because i'm like we're gonna mill ourselves and that is satoru the infiltrator a 2-mana, two 2-3, two, legendary creature, human ninja rogue with menace. Whenever Satoru the Infiltrator and or one or more other non-token creatures enter the battlefield under your control, if none of them were cast or no mana was spent to cast them, you draw a card. This means that the Blood Gas, when you return it with like the Landfall, will draw off Satoru, Price Amalgam draws off Satoru, Blood Soak Champion draws off Satoru, Katonian Nightmare, like whatever you get back with Katonian Nightmare draws off Satoru, even Satoru himself. So if I get Satoru back with the Nightmare, I draw a card and that just goes absolutely crazy with the psychic frog this is just a fantastic way to enable all that like having both the frog and satoru in the deck as your card advantage kind of just makes it so that you will literally never run out of cards the Catonian nightmare also goes back into your hand after you activate it which is just incredibly incredibly valuable because you can just use it over and over and over and it's just super super strong we also have bone shards in this deck as our removal which just works incredibly nice with all those recursion creatures that we have in this deck and it's basically just everything you want and more out of a deck like i said 12 and 1 record in like the five hours that i played it if i played more i'd probably have a higher win rate like i don't think i've ever brewed a deck this fun outside of simic cookies that i just loved so much and performed so well i i truly think that this is broken like it was just that good there's just nothing else to say about it the psychic frog is so incredible that it eventually just started mulling to it um and you're gonna see that in the gameplay that's coming up but before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as it really really helps me out and your support is greatly appreciated leave a nice comment especially under these like non-standard videos i really uh appreciate some extra support on them and uh with that being said it's time to see how broken this frog gets because you guys are not ready for it so let's go this video is brought to you by ultimate guard ultimate guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards ranging from sleeves deck boxes play mats binders and more ultimate guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe secure and stylish support the channel and yourself by purchasing your ultimate guard products using the link in the description
And then the classic flood into one lander. All right. Got my bestie to Psychic Frog by my side. Live, my friend. We have a potentially great turn coming up. Hexproof, for fuck's sake. So what, I just like try to like dump the whole hand here? <laughs> if I can draw a land, I'm like fucking set, right? Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. Yo. Yo. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. All right. That is not a bad turn three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Sure. So this hand is fucking sick. We just need to land, guys. It's that simple. Or is it? Bum, bum, bum. What do you think, chat? I think with a land, we just win the game. Low key. All right, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. <laughs> the, the, the chat's saying keep. That's exactly what we'll do. Um, yes, I believe. Hmm. We just gotta believe the next is a land. Next card land. Oh, we just mail two lands. Ooh. I'm Paradise Druid again? You're really good at finding these Paradise Druids, homie. And unfortunately, we have whiffed. Um, okay, yeah, we love a challenge over here. We got this. We we really got this. I gotta seize him, I think. Yeah, I got that great horn. Next one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, guys. Next one for sure. Guys, it's not happening though. It's, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, the thoughties are all right, I guess. Um, yeah, we're in historic. Guys. Not happening. <laughs> Please just give me this damn frog. Just give me the damn frog. Please. Fuck. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Literally a Catonian nightmare. <laughs> Yikes. And we're still somehow in this, which is impressive, really. But come on, man. Screw beats flood every time. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay, wait, how do we start off? I think with the froggy. We're so back, we're so back. Okay, that's fine. Opponent now dead. Well, I don't want to say that too soon because like they're good at drawing cards and you know. Look at this fucking majestic unicorn thing that just popped up for them. That's kind of intense. Swing at me, bro. I have a frog and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. Big Satoru turn? Oh. Ayo, hey, is it going to go crazy? <gasps> Not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, are we frogging? Nah, we're psyching fro psychic frogging it up for real. Going it's silly for not attacking. I don't care though. Thanks, Bessie. We're uh, psychic frogging it up. Yeah, I think it's a full swing. Whatever you block, I'm going to get back. <laughs> Discard Bloodgast. Discard Amalgam. Um, it's gonna let that go through, I guess, for now. Draw a card. A land! Let's go, baby! Oh my god, we're so, like, we're so doing this, chat. We're so doing this. Um. So what can I do? I could do, like, Ketonian Nightmare? I get the energy. I could sacrifice blood gas. To sacrifice a creature with mana value, axe from your graveyard. So I could do like one. Bring back Stitcher Supplier. Sacrifice blood gas. Mill three cards. Get the Satoru trigger. The amalgams come back. Dude, am I not just, like, milling myself right now? Because we're drawing so many cards. Does this need a toss out Oracle? <laughs> Does this need a toss out Oracle, dude? Like, on a real? Like... <laughs> We love Amalgam Triggers. Damn. I should have like been in full control and like discarded with the froggy.
We're do we're doing it like <laughs> we're doing it. Well, they're still gaining life and all that, which is what they care about, I think. Okay, or not. <laughs> wow, that was sick as fuck. Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if that's too many. I mean, can there ever be too many froggies? Probably not. God, he looks scary as shit though. Not cute anymore. <laughs> He's no longer cute. He now chooses violence. Crazy how that they turn on you like that. <laughs> Jeez. I think we thought sees him. Oh lord, our our M Draptor and Burning Tree emissary is some different shit though. I hate it. Thanks. I hate it. Oh fuck, Rahilda. All right, psychic froggy in defense ro mode. She's a, she's a runner. She's a track star. Yeah, for sure. Yikes. Well, if anybody can save us, it would be the frog. So that's what I'm banking on. Surely. So you think I won't discard two cards? Well, Bessie, you're wrong, because I will. I will do it. I think I just like two frogs is fine. I don't need I don't need more than that. I will do it. Johnny. Um, okay, so... Def getting rid of this. And then... Swing with the, the silly frog? I mean, I hope they don't block it. If they do, then I guess it's also fine. So when she says, when she's going to exile the one card from the library at random. I kind of don't want to go tonight. Fuck, this is taking me so much, oh, so much life though, but okay, it's fine. All good. What could they possibly grab with Rahil that right, chat? They possibly grab fuck <laughs> no 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 oh never lucky like just about the worst possible card it could have grabbed yeah like grab a blood gas or something i don't know <sighs> shit Oh, that's so unfortunate. Fuck, that really sucks. So I can sec the frog, they had a frog back, and the upside to that is we uh, get our amalgam back and we can discard to block uh, kill that, so that's something. 
Yo, this card is so good though. Rogue art looks clean. It's so weird. Let me spend my emote. <laughs> Worth it. Do we looking kind of fresh? I do be looking kind of fresh though. <laughs> I like it. Do be looking kind of fresh. Yeah, seriously. Me on two hours of sleep and a coffee for breakfast. See if I can draw a card here. All right, Froggy, you're up. Let's draw a card. Three coffees, no lunch. <laughs> yeah, a dream. Well, Not, not really happy with this. That seems like a decent block to me. Dude, I really need some bangers. Nah, like, I'm stuck. Nah, Luris, I, I have to save it. I have to use it to, like, not die. <laughs> That's kind of the priority. Living. Care about living more. All right, we're just going to have to do this again. Stop with the lance. It's not fair. Bring a frog back. Okay. I might as well run it out. Pass. Well, if the froggy ends up clutching this, I'm going to be like so pleasantly surprised. That would be a shock to me. Is it like Bessie that cracked? Possibly. Probably. Satoru. Okay, Satoru is good. So I'm going to do this. Dude. We're actually getting out of this. Dude, we're actually getting out of this. Let's get the froggy back. Store of sugar. Pass. Yo! <laughs> Whoa, like... Those are some fucking insane turns, though, chat. Like, what? 
Maybe. Possibly. Alright, I have frog. I'm, I'm saved. We're saved. All hail the mighty psychic frog. The bestie. Okay. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I really like his color like scheme, his color palette. He just looks fucking crazy. Was that a Johnny? Dang. Maybe just Satoru? Yeah, not bad, right? Like, Raptor into, like, three creatures and what with, like, two mana? Not too bad. Not too bad. At all. <laughs> not too bad. Reminds me of like the cat deck we made, but it's like it's just more less cats, so a Johnny becomes a bit worse. Still not bad, but just a bit worse. We went all out on the on a Johnny. Okay. Let's see. Another a Johnny? Hold on. There we go. That is a fantastic card to draw off the top. Holy shit. Wait, what is this pause? You playing spell beers? No. What was that? Removal for the frog. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna let that live. The frog will live. Wow, okay. The graveyard I hate is like intense though, is one of the only problems. <laughs> the graveyard hate is intense. Jeez. I wish there was a way for us to like survive graveyard hate. Are we supposed to, like, board in the ledger shredders or something? I don't think we had enough cards in the graveyard. Or did we, actually? Maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should have exiled. You're right. Maybe I should have exiled three cards from the grave. Don't be a dick. Ed White for the one blue white guy. Just 
Because they think you're edgy. But yeah, I could have prevented the surgical extraction, but I would have never had an, like another uh, homie back though. It's kind of the problem. We're never out of this. As long as we have the little the psychic frog, we're never out of this. That's the greatest thing, but, uh, yeah. Still think we're also playing too many lands in this deck, though, really. I really think we're playing too many lens in here. Shit. They keep doing it. They keep doing it. Yikes. If only we had some better stuff to discard. It's just feel like our our deck has just felt real awkward the whole game, you know, like this card is good, but I don't know. See if we can draw some stuff. Netherland, because why the fuck wouldn't we? All right. This is kind of like a nice loop with the, the frog, at least. In a way. It's a lot of card draw. Stop. Why? <laughs> why all the lands? It's like for no fucking reason, dude. All right. Yo, we're drawing cards though, like another Satoru? Damn it. We just have to find a, a window with the froggy. Yeah, it's good food at least. It's fuel. It's fuel. I will forever hate lands. Like I fucking hate lands with a passion. I can't, like I can't, I hate them. Another one, another one. We just gotta draw some cards. We just gotta draw some cards. Another froggy. Discard froggy. Nightmare. Sacrifice amalgam. Get froggy back. Dude, if we get out of this though, could you imagine? 
We just have to create some big frogs, give them flying, and win the game, right? So as long as we stay drawing cards... Then we're good to go. Fuck my life. I hate these lands. <laughs> I hate these lands. It's fine. It's fuel. It's fuel. Whatever, dude. <laughs> right. So that's how you want to play this game. How inevitable is the Ajani flip is the question, though. Nah, so Ajani flips and then they zero for a 2-1 cat and damage because they'll have a red source. Based on the amount of creatures they have. So whatever it is will kill, will like, it will snipe, right? So what if we just like chump here? This is very risky. I think you gotta try. So what well, we have four right now, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that thirteen? Is the math adding up though? Is it adding up? No way the frogs do it, dude. No way they do it. No way the froggies do it. Stay mad, stay mad. Ah, you mad. The lance became useful. They sure did. Oh my god, get psychic frogged bestie. Get psychic frogged. Yo! Hell yeah! <laughs> Ooh! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. Well, you tell me how I'm kill killing an elvish archivist when the opponent does turn, like, has a turn three Lenoir elf and a Coco. Exactly when would you have wanted me to do that? So, like, what? They would just, yeah, they would just Coco in response. Like, I don't think anything, yeah. <laughs> I could have done nothing about that, though. I could have literally done nothing. Carnes? Oh my god, this person is crazy. Uh, is it like just the land where elf? Like stop the ramp, I guess, maybe? Buy ourselves time? Like I'm not scared of the shepherd.
Yeah, you are just like, you are a fucking A-tier example of a hindsight gamer. Like... <laughs> No, it's 100% correct to hold bone shards in case they get like, you know, an arc druid out of hand or like anything else of the sort. Be real. Like, you think I'm going to just like remove an elf when they have like three mana up because like... It, your logic is just not adding up at all whatsoever. It's like, it's crazy, crazy reasoning. It's crazy reasoning. They just had RNG and that's why it worked out. You, you cannot put that blame on us with the information that we had, like... That's crazy. Okay, let's draw a card. Froggy! Our Lord and Savior! I'm not entirely sure if I played a frog out though. I think I just bring back the blood soak champ here. It's better. Nice. Nice. Could do something for us. All right, I think we're uh, we're getting ready to roll here. Let's hold that. I think I'm getting ready to frog him. <laughs> Down five with that heart though. Draw with Satoru. I mean, I could do something with like, if I do Ketonian Nightmare, if I sacrifice, I can't even do anything with that. Just pass the turn. Elon making Twitter likes private? Wait, what? Did he do that? I'm out of the loop. I was sleeping, I think. <laughs> I think I was sleeping when this happened. Is that true? Why? He's really just so fucking determined to like ruin this whole website. But okay, fine. Whole app. Jesus. Thoughtseize baits Coco, I cast Witch's Vengeance, you cry. Let's see. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> it 
three cards. This should defeat their spirit. I'm going to make them scared with that. Yeah, you get out of there. <laughs> I think we could have also done it with the frog, but just like in general. But... Ugh. Mm, this is hard. I like the bone charts. Obviously, I like, keep the elves in check. I like the thought seas. We're missing our creatures, though believe all right i'm gonna do it i'll believe yeah What? That return an elf you control to its owner's hand. And tap target creature. Okay. They want to like untap their lords, I guess? Sure. But not on itself, right? Or... Like, I can just push it, right? That staff goes infinite with five or four elves. Sure. need some creatures one uh, I don't even know what I want really maybe like a um, good stitcher supplier amalgam is fine Okay, so then it's going to be... I could swing with Amalgam. And then reanimate my gas, get the Amalgam back also. It's not bad. It's about how... Like, I think I can race them. Can I? I'm not sure, but... I think I'm getting there if I don't attack, so... I quite like it. Here we go. Froggy. Gas can block, unfortunately. Future looking a little a little rough. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's great. Hmm. 
This is, um... Yeah. I don't think we get out of this now. I don't think we do. So yeah, they're gonna make that. Five fives. Um... I, I want to say maybe this is my only shot. <laughs> fucking scared, though. <laughs> fucking scared. All right, it's a true. Bring Froggy back? Oh my god, we're like... Holy shit, dude! Fighting for my life out here. <laughs> Fighting for my life out here, dude. Okay. Well, let's see what they grab. <laughs> if, the, if, the, if we win, there's a frog needs to get banned. They're probably gonna be like needle on something, right? I imagine needle on like nightmare, maybe. <laughs> it's cursed. Go froggy! Like I've never believed more in my life, dude. Never. Wait, what is this? Permanent cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield. Players can cast no creature spells from graveyards or exile. Okay. Any pushes? Yeah, pushes, Jack. Man, if I exile, if I get rid of. If I give the froggy flying and I go with Satoru and I go after Karn, then they have to block with Shepard or they lose Karn. The problem is, like, if they top like a land, they can attack with everything and I don't have enough blockers. That's, like, my main concern. That's the part that kind of sucks. Like, if I go about it like this. Yeah, I think this is... I, I think this is playing to an out. If they draw a land on the top, we cry, but like... <laughs> I gotta find, like, either Fatal Push or Bone Shards for, like, this Soulless Jailer. Damn, froggy triggers of like hitting planeswalkers too, right? This doesn't do anything, right? But I'm not going to do anything else with my mana anyway. Mm -mm -mm. 
Jailer stays at 0-4? Oh, it's just elves. Okay, I thought it was creatures. Okay. Well, then I'm fine. I just want to respect whatever they could do, you know. And that are Karn. Oh, man. Okay. Karns don't stop. Fuck. I hate Karn. I've always hated Karn. They just had to tilt deck another Karn. Evil shit. Yo, you're gross. Okay. Mm Oh, well, well, isn't that funny? Hold on, let me unmute them. Suck it. Yeah, oh, you're so mad. Oh, you're so mad. Oh, you thought you had that, but you don't. Like, that was karma at its, like, peak. You thought you had that with your BMs. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Absolutely get stomped, bestie. That was like karma. I see frog, I keep. Karma's a frog, yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It, it's true, it's true. <laughs> exactly, Uffly. Like, they should have known better. Karma's a frog. It's true. We're playing historic. Is this another elf player? What the fuck? Why are so many elf players? What are you guys doing? Bruh? Okay, I play my froggy. So many elf players, the elf fans in Historic, like, aren't they like so, so much better in Best of One though? Like, isn't that where you guys are supposed to like thrive? Mm, how am I gonna do this? Okay, froggy swing. Froggy swing, froggy discard blood gas, froggy discard price amalgam, froggy attack. Then it's gonna be Satoru, Shores. Get back blood gas triggers. And then we're gonna do bone shards. What am I getting rid of? Just uh, land, maybe? Or maybe just supplier. I or I guess I could sacrifice the blood gas too. That's fine, I think. Gas is fine. Frog is insane, yeah. Frog is the fucking truth. Get the triggers. Get another trigger. Oh my god. Let's go, baby! Let's go! I mean, there's some very evil stuff that they can do, but... It won't ever be as evil as the froggy.
<laughs> like, <laughs> this deck is so fucking good. Like, I'm actually really tempted to keep this. Like, I know I shouldn't, but I'm on the play too. Because what is my... I have a thought sees like I have basically like four plays till I need to desperately find a land. Um hmm. I don't know, this is so hard. This is so tricky. <laughs> the feminine urge. I'm going to try. Fuck it, we ball. I think we ball. Yeah, I do think we ball. Risk it for the biscuit. Another elf. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Devotion, yeah. Um uh, shit. I don't even know what to grab. Like the loam speaker, I guess. Another frog victim has arrived. Well, I hope so. I hope our lance isn't gonna like hurt us. Oh, there's a blood gas in there. That would be perfect. And we milled three null land cards, so our chances of finding a land is increasing. Great. I think we got a Satoru in there too. So let's get Satoru back. Froggy spotted. We can get the Froggy back with the Nightmare. All right, we're popping off, guys. We're doing this. We stand a chance. Leno War Tribe. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Budget? I mean, maybe? All right, I'm going to get my uh, my froggy. Come here, psychic frog. There we go. Trigger. And we're popping off, chat. We're popping off. Ooh, where are you? I think I might want to look for like a little something here. What am I going for? One mana? It's fine. Let's get the gas sacrificed. Amalgam? All right, three Satoru triggers. This frog is going to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. Nah, this deck is like actually like broken though, dude.
Okay. They're, yeah, they're besties for sure. I mean... They're very bestie coded. Don't get the frog pan. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. People are just, uh, you know, very not respectful. All right. Well. Mm. Okay. I like it. Am I supposed to be scared of that? Okay. Don't really care, though. All right, let's put that froggy in the air. There we go. Yeah, they got 27 mana, but they're dead, so... Yeah. They have more mana than anyone. <laughs> Analyst players would like a word. Bloodgas and white reliquary. I definitely should play something with the, the white because that thing looks good too. But this is like, I think I would say Frog and Satoru are <laughs> more besties based on my experience with this deck. Looks good to me. Like, we got some key cards in here. Got some good cards. God, I'm like, I'm, gonna, I'm getting like addicted to playing this deck, though. It's not good. <laughs> this is not good. Uh oh. New addiction drops. Who's this? Now I know. We're like seven and one. We're doing great. Okay. So let's get Satoru back. Let me get the trigger. <gasps> oh, two amalgams. <laughs> Messi, you're cooked. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. No way, dude. No way. No way. Discard two cards. Say less. <laughs> let's go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, Bone shards. Discard champion. All right. I'm probably just going to hit him with C's. See what's up. Pull one tier. Not our cook. This is fair magic. <laughs> you know what? Sort of. Kind of. Mm, how can we get the most value here? I mean, there's so many ways.
I get rid of one of these. Another draw. It's just, it's just too much for him. Like it's just too much. Wow. Hand is awesome if we can find a land. We're 22 land tech, right? Yeah. A land and a dream. We're on the draw. We have like three one mana plays. I think it's okay. We know that the second we get the frog, we win. So I think it's worth it. Platinum versus top top 200. Yeah. 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 Vibes. And we're off. Let's have a look at what they are playing. Oh, just okay. Actually, that this is actually a competitive opponent, though. They're playing wizards, but they're in white, which I'm assuming is maybe for like helix. So, uh, what screws me over? Deckless will go on Moxfield. Like, Reckless Rage could be a problem, but like... When they don't have a creature, I don't care. I'm thinking maybe like, Belmore? Take their removal. Well, I would encourage them to try to put 4 damage on my frog, because I will literally go over that, so... <laughs> Like, I I actively encourage this Basti to try to remove my frog because she won't, so... You know, it's not happening. Like, you need to have black removal or this froggy is gonna live forever. Thinking for Satoru. I'll be bringing him back eventually, like... We bring Satoru's back. All right, let's see. <laughs> like you're, <laughs> and just like that, they're cooked. Like, and just like that, it's over. <laughs> turn three, like average, average psychic frog. Turn three, by the way. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. I think I'm playing Convoke. <laughs> the amount of creatures we have, but they're all like really good creatures and not just like some tokens. You wish you were a psychic frog IRL? Yeah, me too. What did they do? What was that? I don't know what that was. Um, okay. I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I could try to do this, but... God's willing. That's interesting. I don't think I'd lose to a Reckless Rage. I could lose to them drawing a bunch of cards. Play it safe here. Like, we're in a good position anyway. 
Like, I could have done, like, the Nightmare and just drawn a bunch of cards with Satoru, but... This does enough, I think. They don't. Like, you don't. <laughs> you don't. It's too much. It's just too much. Okay, so they're playing, like... Why do I almost think they're, like, a Feather deck or some shit? Feather is not a wizard. Feather is a soldier or something, right? Soldier bird? What is Feather? I don't know if people still play Feather, like... But... Oh, Angel? Right. Hmm. Maybe. Because, like, Feather synergizes with, like, the, you know, God's Willings, and I think also with the... The Reckless, uh, removal spell. Feathers Bay. I hated the Feather decks for some reason. Like, it just didn't feel fair. It's Valentine's Day here in Brazil. Well, happy Valentine's Day to the entirety of Brazil. You guys are awesome. Okay. Do it. Things for me and my imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> hey, we, we stand. We love Brazil. We even have a Brazil dedicated emote. We have the cafe. The legendary Ejelis Cafe. That was kind of bad. It'd be really interesting to see what this person does. Okay. Cafe? Hushbringer? What's that good for, though? I don't know. What does Hushbringer stop? Satoru? I think so. When it enters uh, enters the battlefield, so I guess it would stop Satoru. Stitcher Supplier. Yeah, it would just stop Satoru and Stitchers. That's not too bad, I guess. And it's life gain, so... Not a crazy choice. Not a crazy choice. Uh, sure. I think. Is this some amalgam? Uh, yes. I don't have a froggy in there, right? I don't. I'll just go about it like this then. I don't know if I am getting too like over con like confident just tapping out here, but we'll see. Yes, yes, I got educated on the other half of the meme and I was obsessed. The little baby chick saying that it accepts is something that I need printed on a t-shirt. I'm uh yeah, I'm I'm obsessed. That makes the meme so much better. Okay. Well, guess I'm just passing the turn. Yeah, I love it. 
I love everything about the like uh, cafe. I accept memes. Like I, <laughs> they're for facts. I actually would kill for like mugs with like with the cafe, and then I accept on there. I think I need that. <laughs> yeah, gossip. It's just iconic. Like something about that meme is just so fantastic. Like, why does it have to be like a chicken and a baby chick wanting to gossip? Like, it's just so funny to me. <laughs> I love it. Like, yeah, why shouldn't you guys be gossiping? They just want to like, you know, spill some drama over a, over, over a cafe. <laughs> I love it. I respect it. All right, opponent, how are you going to get out of this one? So what am I looking at? Six, seven. Okay, so if I do discard a card. Get rid of dark slick. So. I just buff everything up with the froggy then i should win the game right should be nine and there we go another one thank you